Hey everyone, my name is Drew and we are here. This is going to be week number 8 of the UBL, the Ultimate Battle League. And I almost confused myself because I'm actually playing this before I play week 7. Uh, just some weird scheduling situation. But um, as of right now, I'm on a 4 game losing streak. I'm 2 and 4 right now and things aren't looking great, right? Uh, so I need to get this win. There's no way that I'm losing this match. I don't know how I'm not going to avoid losing this match, but I'm going to avoid losing this match. Uh, but we do see the Mega Alakazam, the Buzzwole, the Roserade, Steelix, Suicune, and Zapdos. So right off the bat, no Clefable, no Cofagrigus, those are huge. No Salazzle is absolutely bananas to me. What else am I looking at? No Sharpedo. Sharpedo could actually have done quite a bit. And uh, no Type Null. Type Null could have been an annoyance. I feel like I could have dealt with it, but Type Null could have definitely been an annoyance. So, um... I'm pretty fresh off of my battle with A-Drive, so I do have, so both of my mons that have it, have it available to it do have Roar, my Incineroar, and my, uh, Blastoise. Uh, this is a Specs Boomber Swellow, which is my first time ever using one of these, and I'm really excited about it. I'm kind of nervous, but I guess we'll see how it goes. Um, I kind of just want to lead off with my... Scizor. Or maybe I would want to lead off with my Shaman. My Shaman is genuinely just mainly for the Sharpedo. I wouldn't mind leading off with Shaman. Um, the only thing that really would threaten my Shaman would be the would be the Buzzwall, but I'm not too too concerned about that Matt. Well, I'm, I'm not concerned about him wanting to lead off with a Buzzwall. I don't see him wanting to make that type of a lead play, but he very well could. He very, very well could. I don't know what he would want to lead off with. I mean, if it were me, I'd probably lead off with a Mega Alakazam, but I don't know. Possibly the Rose Raid if he if he's leads off with a Rose Raid. No, I don't think he would do that because I could potentially lead off with my... I don't know what that is. He leads off with the Steelix. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. I do get to lead off with this Shaman. I am a max defensive Shaman. Um, now, I... The thing is, I do want to set up a lead seed. I genuinely do. But at the same time... I think that, um... This thing would want to set up rocks and switch out, if I, especially if I set up a, a, a leech seed. So I just kind of want to get off a seed flare. Should I try to see how much damage that should potentially do? against a Steelix. Uh, that should do still over half. I kind of want to get off a Seed Flare. It seems relatively free right now. It does withdraw, probably into the Rose Raid, I would imagine. Into the Zapdos. So I definitely could have gotten a Leech Seed off. That doesn't do much of anything, but we do get a Special Defense drop. And I think that that would pretty much mean especially defensive Zapdos. Uh, let me see here. Um, no, just max HP would, would do that little damage, so... It could definitely come in with a Heat Wave now, so I kind of just want to click Leech Seed. I definitely just want to click Leech Seed. Um, I don't think I know yet, just push for the U-turn, so that's going to be interesting. That's going to be interesting, but again, I am max special. Uh, I max physical defense, so whatever comes in is going to get seeded, unless it's the Roserade. Roserade would be pretty darn unfortunate, but I don't think... Yeah, Roserade would pretty much be his best switch, and I completely forgot to screenshot the bottom screen once again. That sucks quite a bit. I even set myself up to do it on my left monitor, but uh, I didn't. So, Roserade would be, yeah, Roserade is absolutely the play to make right now. Uh, especially now that he does have the information available to him that I'm max defensive, but uh, Zapdos U-turn might not even register. Uh, so, let me see here. Let me pull up the bottom screen. I'm already not feeling like I'm in a great position here. He could go for, straight up for a Toxic Spikes right now. He could go straight up for a Toxic Spikes right now. I'm going to go into... 
pulls a double. But uh, this will let me get the Intimidate off because he does outspeed. Goes into the Zapdos, so that's interesting. I could have clicked Psychic, but realistically, there's no planet on which I would have clicked Psychic in that situation. Um, I will get the Intimidate off. I will get the Intimidate off. So let me take a look. Let me really take a look at his team right now. I think if I set up a Rock Polish... Well, okay, if I set up a Rock Polish and the Suicune is lowered... If the Steelix, Roserade, and... And Roserade are a little bit low, then I think... My Diancie can win here. I feel like I have to click Knock Off, though. Goes for a Discharge. I don't mind at all. We take that pretty darn well, and we do get a pretty darn strong knockoff off. And that just makes me want to click U-turn. This is a pretty darn specially defensive Incineroar. But I kind of feel like uh, the Zapdos would want a U-turn right now. I would not be surprised if the Zapdos either U-turns or switches right now. Regardless, I feel like my play has to be the U-turn here. Um, to get myself a decent matchup. I would be pretty scared of a potential, like, um, HP Steel Zapdos, but I don't know. Part of me just doesn't see that happening either. It does go for the Roost. So we've seen Roost, Discharge, U-Turn. I don't think it can afford to have the HP Steel. Which might just be a free... Rock Polish for my... No, no. You know what I would like to find out? Actually, yeah, so I do think that, that, that this Aptos is specially defensive based off of that knockoff damage. But would it still be in range of Swellow? Oh, it might not be. And that's a dangerous... That's a dangerous situation that I don't want to be in. I feel like this thing would have to have Heat Wave as well. Heat Wave, Discharge, U-Turn, Roost. However, if he does want to predict my uh, switch into a Roserade, then I do really want to go for Psychic. Or double. I could double as well. Roserade. Um, Psychic from Shaman would do about 50%. I really just want to click Psychic. I'm going to click Psychic. I feel like he's going to- he has to make that Rose Rage play. Does go for the U-turn. I feel like he has to make the Rose Rage play. I can't see him doing anything else right now. I don't know what other play he would try to make. Uh, this is the Rose Rage. Okay. Uh, now, to a Noble Rose Rage, it should do about 50%. That looks to be at least max HP. That's probably max HP, right? Max HP is 40 to 47%. Which, no, it's specially defensive, right? Is that right? Uh, specially defensive is 32 to 38%. Yeah, that might be about right for specially defensive. Which is also interesting. Uh, and I was calculating out life orb sludge bomb we should take a regular sludge bomb especially if this thing is max special defense it means that um it's not going to be invested into special attack which means we should take a sludge bomb reasonably well however i do think there's an opportunity to get something else in i just need to think about what that would be right now
I wonder if I do just Psychic again. No, no, the play is never to Psychic again. I kind of just want to... Yeah, I'm just going to go into my Incineroar again. Um... If he pulled a double, that would be... that would be nuts. We do get the Intimidate off. Goes for the spikes, that's totally fair, totally fair. I could click U-turn right now, um, especially based on the prior damage. Uh, I do threaten fire moves, I do threaten a pretty darn strong knockoff. Knockoff should do over half on its own. I feel like you would have to expect me to want to click knockoff. Which honestly makes me want to click U-turn. I think that has to be the play. I think I have to click U-turn in this situation right now. The And the worst case scenario here goes for the Sleep Powder. I avoid it. I go for the U-turn. That's wild. I was going to say worst case scenario is this Incineroar takes a hit and it gives me a free switch into Swellow. But I do get the free switch into Swellow regardless. And by the looks of it, Boom Burst does over half to a max special defense. It would have to be Assault Vested. But i pretty positive based on the Psychic damage before. Um, it wouldn't be. He doesn't have the best of switches into a Specs Boom Burst right now. And again, by the looks of it, just max HP, max special defense. Um, Roserade should go down to a Specs Boom Burst right now. Does withdraw. Goes into this thing. And yeah, that is a 2 hit KO at the very least. So we're going to get the first Mon down, I think. Uh, does pull a double, which is re really interesting. It's super interesting. We will get to see... How much damage we're doing. Okay. That's not bad damage at all, in all honesty. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just gonna go into my Blastoise right now. He could try to set up rocks right now. I think that would ha be his best play, question mark. If he doubles in a Roserade, that would be a nuts play. Do we see... Is this an actual double in a Roserade? No. This is the Zapdos. Okay. I honestly got to think that this thing clicks U-turn right now. I honestly got to think that this thing clicks U-turn right now. I want to click Roar, but it doesn't do anything for me realistically. I don't have anything to hit the, the Rosary that would come in on the U-turn. Um, I'm honestly just pretty weak to a U-turn right now. I do... Hmm. This thing could go for a Roost as well, which is a thing. If it goes for a Roost, then Toxic is absolutely the play. So here's the thing, right? Uh, tch 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 tch. Zapdos. No, I think he really would want to punish my Rapid Spin, right? He has to want to punish my Rapid Spin right now. I'm going to click Scald. The only reason I'm going to click Scald... Yeah. The only reason I'm going to click Scald is because... Goes for the Roost. Okay. Fair play, fair play. Um... The only reason I did that... I was going to say, I, I would prefer not to get a burn so I could potentially toxic this thing. But the only reason that I clicked Scald was because I thought the most likely scenario would be he would want to U-turn uh, into Roserade. And I do need just a little bit more chip damage in order to get Roserade down into range of a potential Scizor Bullet Punch from there. And I thought that might be worth it, but... 
everything is meaningless. I don't know what to go into. The Zapdos is a genuine problem. The Zapdos is an actual problem right now. I'm gonna, hmm, I'm gonna go into Diancie. I'm gonna go into Diancie. Um, I feel like this thing would want to go for a discharge right now. I just can't get paralyzed. Goes for the roost, okay, fair enough. Fair enough. However, Hmm. Let me see here. I don't know what to do in this situation. I'm gonna just click Power Gem. If it get, if it gets the par paralysis off of Discharge, then it does go for the withdrawal. So that's interesting. Goes into this thing. Steal it. I don't think it can take Power Gem into Earth Power. I see it right at around. S okay. Could that be max special defense? It is. It actually is. But I can earth power here. Let's give an assault vest. Assault vest is a roll. Do I take that risk? I might have to. I think it has to be a Soul Vested based off of that damage and the fact that um, it hasn't gotten any uh, recovery or anything like that yet. It could be Aquaberry for all I know. It could be Shaka for all I know. I'm gonna go into Shaman. Shaman is um, probably my most expendable member. But I think this is gonna be a long one. Goes for the EQ. No gyro ball, which is a good thing, expect in 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 except if he was expecting my Incineroar or something like that. Uh, now here's another situation where I can absolutely click Psychic expecting um, something to come in here. Leech Seed is also decently free. The only thing that punishes a Leech Seed play would be the Roserade, but I've already shown that I would click Psychic in this situation. I'm gonna click Leech Seed. I'm gonna click Leech Seed. This is gonna be a very long match. We're already 20 minutes into this match. That's the Zapdos, I believe. Yeah. Does he even have removal outside of this uh, Zapdos here? Uh, oh, doesn't Suicune get defog now? Isn't that a thing? I think so. I feel like it is. It might not. Oh no, I'm. I, I feel like I'm getting that confused with Tailwind because I don't know. Whatever. Point is, I kind of want to click Synthesis in this situation.
I honestly just wouldn't mind like scouting out in this situation. I'm gonna click synthesis. I think it's reasonably free. Does click U-turn. I'm probably inviting the Roserade at this point, but um, if the Roserade does come in, like I said, I do, I should take a Solid Bomb reasonably well. So I don't mind staying in and clicking Psychic just to get the Roserade low enough where um, where we can hit the thing hard with our Revenge KO. And being at full is pretty important in general. And and also this thing could have synthesis synthesis itself. Probably does. So far it spikes. What was the other move that it went for? Oh my god, think. Spike sleep powder is the other move. I wouldn't be surprised to see a toxic spike, but we do see a sludge bomb coming in. E. Dude, we do get poisoned, but um, we would be able to get a natural cure off a little bit later in the game. For right now, I feel like that damage is going to be important. I, now, I'm going to dare him. I'm going to kind of dare him to make to want to make a play right now because I don't mind switching into my scissor. If he sleep powders expecting my scissor to come in, then that would be an insane play. But uh, this thing is more than in range enough of a scissor bullet punch right now. Um, he could sleep powder, he could, uh, sludge bomb into me. If, if his last move slot is HP fire, then that's another insane, uh, prediction, but I don't know. I, I, I could see HP fire just in case, um, the scissors are around and just having some way of hitting the scissor in general. Now here's also the thing, right? Here's also the thing. Because... What range was... Hmm. I was going to say, I could Source Dance right now, but I can't. I feel like my play would have to be to click Knock Off right now because the Suicune gets invited in right now. I could also click U-Turn. U-Turn's also a play. Or against a Steelix as well. Against a Steelix, it'd be huge to knock off that Assault Vest. The only thing that would really suck would be the Zapdos coming in. The Zapdos against my Scizor. Yeah, knockoff is doing nothing against Zapdos. And realistically, Zapdos is the most natural switch in. However, I feel like U-Turn should KO this this thing no matter what. Yeah, I just click U-turn. It's obviously the safest play. He does withdraw. And the Zapdos does in fact come in. It is a very free moment for my Swellow to come in. Static, okay. Alright. At least I can't get burned, I guess. I don't know, man. That... Oh, I'm Lumberry. I forgot. I'm Lumberry. Because of Kofagrigus. That's honestly hilarious. Okay. Um, but yeah, no. That's absolutely free for my Swellow to come in. And I think finally claim a KO. Yeah. I'm just gonna claim a KO. I'm just going to claim a KO right now. I was going to say, that, that paralysis could have been bad against maybe the, um, the Steelix, but even a half speed, I'm pretty positive that I should outspeed the Steelix. So I guess it doesn't really matter. Um, not getting fully parried on some sort of a... That's what Draw really wants to keep the Zapdos around. I mean, Zapdos, in all, in all fairness, is a very good play against my team in general, but this Rose Raid is going to go down. And that's honestly pretty huge. We do finally get a KO. 23 minutes into this match. We are 23 minutes into this match. This is going to be a stressful one, man. This thing comes in. 
I should have clicked Heat Wave in all honesty. But that's totally fine. I can go into... I can go into my Blastoise. Oh, so it's not Assault Vested. That's interesting. But going into this thing, I can just click, um, Rapid Spin. It does invite in the Zapdos. I get that, but, um, I don't care. I don't think I care. If the Zapdos comes in, I can, I can handle it. I can stack something off. I really don't care at this point. I can stack off my Shaman. The bigger point is that, um... Something should be able to come in and revenge, no matter what the Zapdos tries to do. This thing could stay in and go for Stealth Rocks again, which would be fantastic. Which would be uh, nuts. I said fantastic. I don't know why. Um, if this thing forced to play, if this thing forced me to go for Scald repeatedly as he goes for Stealth Rock, then that would invite in the um. That would invite in. Oh, I think you know what? I think he's considering. I think he's considering the Suicune play. I think he's considering the Suicune play. Nope, just goes into this. We do get the rapid spin off. And I get another static. That's neat. That is totally, totally neat. Okay. I don't think it really matters. Yeah, it doesn't. What do I want to do? My moveset is Scald, Rapid Spin, Toxic, and Roar. And Roar would be so great right now if... Um, if I had Rocks up, but Rocks are only on my Diancy, which is not great. Last time he stayed in just to roost. I think I think this was his play. I think he just wants to um, ensure that he can roost. I think that's all that he really cares about doing. Which means I can very likely go into my Diancy and get those Rocks up. Let's see if that is what that means. Just goes for the roost. Okay. And I'm pretty sure we've seen this whole moveset, right? U-turn, roost, discharge. U-turn, roost, discharge. Have we? I don't know. Regardless, I'm going to take the safest play possible and click Stealth Rock. Does hard withdraw. It goes into the bus wall, which absolutely screams um, Scarf to me. But I need to figure out how to deal with that. I just go into Incineroar. He could click... Um, I guess Strain Punch is a really free move for this uh, thing to go for. Drain Punch would be super free. Let's go for the EQ. You don't take that well at all. But, again, the fact that this screams Scarf to me... Unless he's bluffing Scarf. If he bluffs Scarf, I'm pretty positive he wins. But, um... This is the freest possible moment to double into my Swellow. If he actually made this play and is went in 100% bluffing this Scarf, then he beats me, in all honesty. And... The Steelix could come in. I don't- I, don't, I think the Steelix is in range where it's a- or Boom Burst is a- Boom Burst is a 2 hit KO, sorry. Um... I think we know for sure that this thing is Scarf. It has to be the way that he brought it into a Diancy. Um, 
Honestly, if he just gone for like a Drain Punch, Drain Punch is really free against my team. My team is super soft to Drain Punch. And in fact, my team is so weak to Drain Punch that I might have to figure out some way to synthesis up with my Shaman. <laughs> Because if he does decide to just um, start drain punch for free. Okay, the Zapdos should finally go down. After all this time, we are 30 minutes into this match. And the Zapdos finally goes down. We get two KOs. And this is exhausting. I am exhausted. But this thing comes in is not a Magic Guard Alakazam, which I'm sure is just a mistake, but uh, I hate to see that. Um, I am really curious. Okay, so what is this thing called? Um, Alakazam. Alakazam Mega. What am I doing with my Scizor? Uh, no bulk Alakazam. Bullet Punch does around uh, 60%. Just the fact that my Incineroar is in the back is, um, is going to deter him a little bit, and I think that that's going to be important. So I think just having my Incineroar for the Intimidate onto the Buzzwool, or the, um, or the, yeah, all that is to say I'm going into Blastoise. Having it for the Dark Immunity and for the Intimidate onto the Buzzwool, I think is reason enough to uh, want to preserve it for as long as I possibly can, and uh, just try to hopefully eat up a hit with my Blastoise. I should be a specially defensive Blastoise if I remember correctly. Yeah, I'm really specially defensive. Does Trace Torrent. Uh, and goes for the Psy Shock, which is unfortunate, but, um... Okay, does stay under a 2 at KO. He doesn't have the best switch switches into, um... Toxic? But... Just the fact that, just the fact that, um, a Scald right now would invite in, what do you call that thing, um, Suicune, or sorry, the fact that a Scald would invite in a, a Suicune makes me want to click Toxic right now, and if I end up Toxicing the Alakazam, then I don't mind, I wouldn't mind that at all. I don't think he can- I, I, I think he knows that he can't let his Alakazam be... be, uh... take a, take a bunch of damage because my Scizor is a potential threat with Bullet Punch. But Skull just gets free damage off on something. But Suicune hasn't hit the field. Suicune, I know he's trying to do something with Suicune. I know he's trying to do something with Suicune. I'm clicking Toxic. I know we take a hit. I think he wants to keep this thing healthy. He just stays in. Uh, I don't know. That's wild to me. That is absolutely just wild to me. Now, I'm really curious to see if, if he wants to try to make a play and not go for Psy Shock. Um, because my Incineroar switch in is available to me. Regardless, I think, I think just the fact that, um, I've been playing this way, I'm gonna take the risk. I'm going to take the risk. I probably shouldn't risk my Incineroar like this, but... We're gonna see whatever happens here. Okay. Um, probably just has Shadow Ball in all honesty. 
Probably just that Shadow Ball in all honesty. Actually, hmm. What would be his moveset? Um... You know what? I'm gonna do it. Part of me was thinking, if I really think that he's gonna click Shadow Ball, then I could aggressively go into Swellow. But, I think... In all honesty, the play would just be to try to be aggressive with, um, my Scizor right now. Because Toxic alone is getting him into range where, um, Bullet Punch does go for a Focus Blast, which is wild. Maybe, maybe he knew that the Swallow was a potential switch in, but, um, regardless, Bullet Punch threatens the KO here. I'm gonna... This is difficult, because I really do just want to click U-Turn right now. I feel like I have to. I have to click U-turn. He has to switch. He has to. He. I feel like he knows that this thing is important to, to beating me. He has to know how important this thing is to beating me. Okay, never mind. Never mind. I had the freest of bullet punch KOs right now. I had the absolute freest bullet punch KO. I think I have to click, um, nope, never mind, I was gonna say, I think I, I think I have to click, um, uh, Swallow Quick Attack, but, uh, that doesn't, that doesn't do it. What do I do here? I honestly, okay, this is gonna sound crazy, but I think what I do is I go into Shaman, and the fact that I was willing to aggressively switch into my Incineroar makes me want to think that he would be willing to click either Focus Blast or HP Fire. It honestly makes me want to go into my Blastoise. It does withdraw. But when it comes back in on rocks, it will be weak to... It will be weak to... Um... When it comes back in on rocks, it will be weak to uh, Swallow Quick Attack. But I don't really know what I do against Buzzwool. I think Buzzwool beats me. Buzzwool might just beat me right now. I think. I have to get intimidated off no matter what. I guess I can make a play off of whatever attack this thing goes for, but yeah. I don't think Swellow takes one. Buzzwool. I think we lose to this thing. Choice Scarf. Choice Scarf, Drain Punch. Swellow takes a Drain Punch. Swellow takes a Drain Punch and threatens Oko with Boom Burst. But what about Diancie? Diancie also takes it. Diancie also takes it. And honestly, mm, I don't know. I think I'd lose to this Buzzwool. I lose to this Buzzwool. I'm pretty positive. 
I have no play but to click Moonblast. And as good a match as I think I had, I think I can't be Buzzwall. This thing thankfully just goes down to uh, Moonblast plus EP. But it also just probably goes down to two Moonblasts. I don't want to take any risks. Is Shuck a berry? I don't think that matters though. Thankfully, it doesn't. If that mattered, then I would have lost. It's okay. Except for the fact that I have just revealed another move. Although. Uh, this is the Suicune. This is the Suicune. Okay. I think the only thing that I can do against this thing would be to... Goes for Calm Mind. Okay. My thing is, I really did want to go into my Blastoise, but at the same time, I really do have to get my Shaman back up healthy a little bit. I feel like I have no other play but to click Synthesis. If this thing clicks um, sub, yeah, I expected that. My only real play right now is to expect this thing to want to call mind up more and attempt to go into my Blastoise. But doing this with Shaman is, I think, my only way that I win. I think this is the only way that I even have a chance against the Buzzwool. I have to expect this thing to want to call mind up, like, a lot. If this thing just clicks Calm Mind one more time, I'm okay. <laughs> Part of me thinks that, he, that he's going to feel like he has to because of my Swellow and Boom Burst. Or I could possibly take a Scald. But this is, this is the reason I have Roar. If, if this takes me out, I lose. If this takes me out, then I lose. Oh my god, okay. Okay. I think I was at 48 HP. I think I was at 48 HP. I think that means I should take this. I think that means that I should take this. Please take this. 5 HP. Oh my god. That was so scary. Okay, okay. Crisis averted, I guess. Fucking yikes. But again, unless this is a recover Alakazam, it is still weak to... It is still weak to... Swellow, just click Slash Shock. I think it goes down as Toxic anyway. Which is still a KO for Blastoise. That was stressful. That was stressful. We are just about 45 minutes into this match. Buzzwell still beats me. Um. Yeah, I think my play has to be to go into Swellow. Uh. That is the sweet hood. Swallow against Suicune. Boom Burst is nowhere near enough, but I can get a U-turn off. This thing wouldn't go for... Um, so, you yeah, know, 
the the only play that this thing has is to click Scald because the only play this thing has is to click Skull goes for Protect. That's fine. I click Udrin. It knows that I'm Spec, so you, you wanted to uh, gauge his options, I guess. But now he knows he can click Substitute. Now he knows he can click Substitute. I don't think it matters. I think I click U-turn regardless. We get a little bit of damage off. And I will be able to go into my Diancy. Di and I just have to get strong hits off. As long as I can keep this thing not behind a sub, um, it's going to try to calm mind up on me, but the only thing I can do is get get strong hits into this thing. Wait, no, it didn't go for sub. That is so strange. I think his only play, in my opinion, his only play would had to be to go for sub because... It invites in my Shaman, which can click Leech Seed, and protects against the Buzzwool switching in. I don't know. Regardless, I click Moonblast, and we can gauge some damage based off of that. Where is... Diancy? We, we probably take a Scald. Oh, we don't take a Scald at plus one, so that's neat. Man, he is giving me every opportunity in the world to just go into my Shaman. Genuinely, if he lets my Shaman in, then uh, I can Leech Seed, and this is a very different game. Does take me out? That's fine. I think that's fine. Because now the la that allows in my Shaman... And I can play just as much stall as he can with Leech Seed. Are we really about to disconnect? Is this a disconnection? Okay, we are back, and uh, we did try a little bit of recreation. And I'm pretty sure we got it pretty much perfectly, which I'm pretty proud of. Um, we figured it out on our own, but um, he does have a Calm Mind up. And uh, I'm not in the best position, but my play has to, has to, has to be to go into my Shaman right now. And I think, I think he can maybe reasonably expect me to want to go for a Seed Flare. But my play has to be to click Leech Seed. As, I feel like as long as I can... Goes for the Protect. That's fine. I was... Mm. After watching his match against Deebs, um See, ugh, this is wild. I don't know if him watching me go for Leech Seed is going to invite in the Buzzwool now. That is bananas. Okay. Let me see. But at the same time, Buzzwool has to choose an attack that um that I can play off of, I think, right? Even Leech Life should only do about 50% to Shaman. My play has to be to click Leech Seed. Even if he goes into Buzzwool, I, I don't think I care. It does go for Calm Mind. Uh, Calm Mind, Scald, Protect, Sub? I think that's the that's the entire set. Oh, I just realized. I'm slower than... I made a, I could have made a huge mistake. If this dude to click Sub, I, I lose. In, in my head, I'm thinking... Uh, Suicune is slower than Shaman, naturally, but... I invested speed. You know what? It's okay. It's okay. I just had to click Seed Flare. Let's go for Protect. Now, he could PP stall me. Now, this is going to be interesting because we did recreate, so he's not going to be as able to PP stall me, even with pressure. And I'm not going to want to click Seed Flare against um, the Buzzwool. Really, the only thing I have to worry about is keeping my number of Synthesis up. And it's unfortunate, but because we had to recreate, I do have, I believe, one, maybe two extra syntheses than I normally would have. I have a full slate of eight syntheses. It does withdraw. But again, I'm pretty positive I take 
any single hit that this Buzzwool wants to hit me with. If we get the special defense drop, okay, we don't. I feel like I just have to click Leap Seat here. As long as we can prevent the... Suicune from PP stalling my my Shaman, I'm pretty positive Shaman wins this match on its own. That does, it, this, it, it's adamant, that's why. It's adamant. I have to put adamant in here. Yeah, adamant leech seed does 56 to 66. I think he knows that I have to go into Swellow here. I could Seed Flare into this thing. No, I'm gonna go into Swellow. I'm gonna make the slightly safer play. And uh, me switching out first means that he did go for the Leech Life. Which means, I should take two Leech Lives, yeah. So now I get a very, very free Boom Burst, which means either the Suicune's going down right now, or the, or the, um, Buzzwell's going down right now. Regardless, the magic, oh. He forfeits. Uh, that's uh, that's super unfortunate. He, he just messaged me right now. Just said GG. I should have. I messed up with Kuhn. I should have subbed. Uh, does just go for the forfeit. Um, I don't know. I mean, I do agree. I clearly misplayed as well. I I misplayed even just thinking that I could. Leech seed. I don't know what I was thinking, but we both messed up. I think we're both tired. Um, it's past midnight for me, and uh, he's on the west coast, so it's a, getting close to ten for him. So, I don't quite know. He ends up forfeiting. I guess this has been an hour-long plus affair. Uh, it's a very long match. We're both very tired. Uh, but Greg is amazing. Greg is absolutely wonderful. I am a big fan. Big, big fan of Greg. Um, could not love him more. Uh, this was a really nuts match. This was a team that Leo drafted. And um, it was in very, very good hands with Greg. Um, but I think that's gonna be it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll be back really really soon We did finally get a win and uh, I think that's like I said, that's gonna be it for me Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll be once again out